tell us about Emery. We know at the beginning that she's kind of recovered from a long illness. She's just joining the school again, and at the same time as the atriums have also become integrated into the school. So who, what's kind of her mindset at that point? Emery's mindset, I think she's been waiting so long to actually get into high school and sort of experience what life is normally like for a 16-year-old. Um, and she's kind of, it's interesting throughout the pilot, it's like you're seeing Emery's POV of the school and clicks and how things work, and then you're also seeing it through the Adrian's eyes. Um, it's, it's, she's interesting, she's fun and spunky, she um, has a, um, a love affair with an Atrian, which is one of the aliens. Is she willing to take that risk? That's uh, a big risk. She is, I don't think Emery really, when she sort of gets involved with Roman, she's not thinking about the repercussions of it, I think she's just following her heart and what um, their destiny, I think it's like destiny to be, for them to be together. Thing that's very timeless and I think a lot of people can relate to about being um, in love with someone who doesn't necessarily line up with your world how it is and there's all these factors sort of keeping them apart and people trying to keep them apart and sort of their love overcoming all of that. Do you think they are falling in love? They are kind of following a destined path? I think, I think so. I think throughout the season and throughout the series I think there'll be a lot of twists and turns though. Well, another intriguing relationship was um, Emery and Julia. They're obviously very close friends. They've gone through a lot through their mutual health issues and to the extent, how can they maintain that friendship now with all these other outside people kind of involved in their lives? I think their, their friendship is something that is, you know, kind of a forever after sort of thing. Well, they're both also very intrigued by the atriums, which is another bonding element for them. Yeah, I think uh, Julie is very intrigued by them. She's an atrian enthusiast, where Emery, I think, is more about creating a fairness in society and very much championing for the atrians, um, but has her eyes on the prize with Roman. <laughs> Are they going to be able to step up for both Julia and for Emery into this world where there's so much conflict between the human race and the Atrians? Are they really prepared to deal with that as well? You can't just throw another race into a school system and a society and not have that kind of blow up a little bit. Right. I, there's obviously a lot of conflict um, with with the humans and the Atrians. Um, but with Julia and Emery, Julia is such a champion for the Atrians. And, Emery, like I was saying, is so involved with Roman, and there's that, um, there's just that spark between them. It's kind of undeniable. I think that throughout the throughout the series, um, there'll always be more conflict, but um, she is always trying to protect her friends and and protect the Atrians and trying to get everyone to get along. Um, but there's quite a few moments where she sort of doesn't really think things through and she kind of just goes with her heart and while that's you know what I think everyone should do there's definitely um, some conflicts she comes up against because she doesn't really think about what pe how people are going to treat her afterwards or what issues she's going to have to deal with after. Emery causes a lot of a lot of conflict um, not meaning to and not in a malicious manner but just out of I think being in the wrong place at the wrong time well, how would you describe her journey as far as these first 10 episodes the, her journey throughout the first 10 episodes we've shot so far um, there's a lot of um, learning that happens um, and a lot of um, a, just a lot of drama. She definitely gets very involved with the Atrian cause and gets very involved with speaking her mind to the Red Hawks, to the school board, to her parents, to Roman, to Grayson, to Julia. Um, sometimes I feel like she becomes a little too eager and nosy into people's business. Um, but she has a good heart and it's in the right place. To kind of her secret superpower a little bit. She can afford to be outspoken and speak her mind because she has that freedom. I think so, yeah.